Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of How Did They Do? So today's episode is going to be, um, excuse me, today's episode is going to be um, exit 135 in Tennessee off of I-40. Now this is going to be a little bit of a different style of how did they do because the main focus point is going to be a particular place that has truck parking now there is a truck stop just a little ways down the road and you know i'm going to throw them in there just cuz i am getting eaten up Anyways, I'm going to throw them in there just because. Now, if you're new to How Did They Do, by all means, let me fill you in on what we do. So basically, I'm a truck driver. I travel all over this great country, and I have to use truck stops. So I thought, you know, hey, what kind, how cool would it be to basically tell you, in somewhat of a review, my interactions with said truck stops? Now, no, this is not an attack on your town. This is not an attack on your state. This is not even an attack on the truck stop. It's just my interactions with, whoa, with the truck stop that I happen to feature on How Did They Do. So again, Mount Eagle, Tennessee, um, exit 135 off I-40. There is a Chinese restaurant up there and man oh man oh man all right let's get let's just get something out of the way right right away all right <laughs> it's not a it's not a very clean place it's not a very clean place but let's face it usually the more shady restaurants are usually the better ones for chinese so Let's just get that out of the way. But they do have truck parking. They have about a dozen or so. They claim to have 50 spots. <sighs> if people would park right, I could maybe see 50 spots. But that's really kind of hard to do. And I just don't know if you can actually get 50 trucks back there. But it's a gravel lot so if you you know have a clean truck it's gonna have a layer of dust on it but it's so well worth it to go get some food there um you actually to get there you actually pass by a pilot now this pilot is not too terribly bad uh the parking lot is laid out a little goofy it's a smaller one and stuff like that showers are nice uh it's got a wendy's i believe it's got a wendy's in it um yeah, everybody seems to be friendly there. I have yet to have any real bad experience at this pilot. So, you know, I figured why not throw them in there, right? Because if you want to grab a shower and you want to go get something to eat, well, that's kind of what you have to do. They're about a block apart from each other. So, you know, it's not too terribly bad. Uh, but, you know, you guys can be the judge of that. Um, I know I love stopping at the pilot there. It used to be a Wilco's or Wilkinson or Wil Wil Wilco's, I think it used to be. Uh, pilot took it over. They actually, I don't honestly think that they actually screwed this one up too terribly much. Yet. Because like I said, everybody, every time I go in there, everybody's so cheerful, everybody's so nice. And I have yet to have a real bad experience there. I've spent the night there a couple times. I've taken a couple showers there and everything like that. Um, you know, it's just, it's got all the amenities. It's got all the sodas. It's got some knick-knacky stuff. It's got, you know, the whole, um, well, it's got Wendy's in it. Like I said, the showers and everything like that. I mean, it's a full-service truck stop except for, you know, a repair shop. Um, and most pilots don't have a repair shop. So, you know, I mean, it works, right? It works. Now... Before we get too involved in this, I'm trying to see, 
on my screen. You have to apologize. This, my friends, is the very first usage of the new camera right here. And I don't know where it says how long I've been recording. <laughs> but anyways, oh, there it is. I see it now. But so um, during this whole you know pandemic scamdemic whatever we're not going to get into that all right you you are more than entitled to believe what you believe i am more entitled to believe what i believe that's not the here nor place to have a scus discussion a discussion a discussion um so during this whole thing they are open um they are oh my neighbor just drove by in one of his big old large cars um the I don't know. You can't see it. I don't know. I'm not even going to bother. Um, they are open. They are taking precautions and stuff like that. Now, I don't like, I don't necessarily like to go in and eat. So I usually get it to go, go hang out in the truck. You know, that way I can eat at my own pace. I can watch TV on my phone or laptop or whatever. Um, you know, and I can do stuff like that. So yeah i mean it, it's okay it's okay um super nice people i mean typical chinese place there's not really much to say you know there's there's really not much to say except for you know the place is fantastic the food is great i mean it's a typical chinese place so it's yeah it's a little it's a little sketch you know but that's usually the good ones that i find um the pilot that's just down the road you know, there again, they're super nice people. They they try to keep it clean. They, you know, the parking lot is a little funky, but that's that's not up to them. They, you know, they they don't they don't have the luxury of whatever. You know, so that's not really up to them. Um, you know, they have a Wendy's. There's there's really not much to say. Uh, I mean, the parking lot in the in the in both spots are getting really bad. Um, last the last time I was there, the pilot had a huge hole in it in the driveway out, um, and and you kind of had to like veer around it. It, it. it was pretty deep. Other than that, you know, I mean, it's typical bumpity bumpity bump. Um, the like I said, the 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 pilot has a tar. A lot in it the Chinese place has a gravel lot in it um, you know there's really not much there's not much I can say you know it's 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 either you're gonna like the place or you're not gonna like the place and I happen to love the place so you know whatever now the Chinese place I kind of thought long and hard about this right I thought dude what do I do how do I Excuse me. Excuse me. How do I put this on the crap factor, right? Do I do them individually? Do I do them together? Combine them and do them together. And I really think, and I, and I did, I thought long and hard about it. And I honestly, I have to combine them. Because here's here's what I'm thinking. You need one without you can't have one without the other for semis, right? Cars, yes. Semis, no. Because you know the, the Chinese place doesn't have the amenities that the truck stop does. The truck stop doesn't have the food that the Chinese place does. So I really thought long and hard about it. And unfortunately, I am going to have to combine the two and lump them into one crap factor score. <clears throat> now, you can't use this score on an individual. You can't use an individual on this one because it's two completely different ball games. So I'm, you know, there again, I like both places. They're not spectacular. They're not, they're far from, from crap. Um, 
I would honestly have to put a crap factor of 6-6, six, 6-7. Six, six, I'll get, you know what? I'll be nice. 6.7. And that is, no, I can't do that. See, and this is where I'm struggling. I can't, that's too low. That is too low. So scratch the 6-6, six, 6-7. Six, six, scratch it. Just forget I even said it. I'm going to go 7-2. Seven, 7-2. Two. Seven, two. Because, again, both places need one another for truck-wise. The pilot is good, except for the rough driveway and the small parking lot. The Chinese place has the great food, small parking lot, and it's gravel. So, really the only thing that is bad is the parking lot. Um, both staffs are fantastic. I have yet, like I said, I have yet to have a bad experience. Um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, 7-2. We're going to go with 7-2. Seven, 7-2. Two. Seven, two. Like it, love it, leave it, whatever. Doesn't matter. My friends, that's going to be an episode. Thank you so much for coming to hang out on how did they do episodes if you by chance have a truck stop that you think i might be able to get to or want to put on the list of how did they do episodes by all means leave it in the comment if you've been to this place you like this place you don't like this place you would like to see some other things changed leave a comment it's all there for you my friends and uh till next time hopefully you guys enjoyed the new camera you're gonna see a lot of it because it's awesome and it is extremely heavy. I did not realize how heavy this thing was. But anyways, thank you my friends and don't forget to hit the thumbs up to show your support or you I don't whatever. Just hit the thumbs up for me. It's free. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.